So, will you not tell us who the child's father is? Why do you want to know? Child, ruin my clothes! Lady Capulet, what have you to say for this? Um, use Downing? Let him stomp on me now. <laughs> ruin everything, oh no. Oh baby. The heck is you? Oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's Gabby, and I'm back for another video for episodes 5 and 6. And, um, I know it seems I read episode 5, but I really didn't. And, um, the reason is that there was this free coins event, right? And sometimes Webtoon has a free coins event. And some of you guys know, but if, for those of you who don't, um, Webtoons usually have these free coin events um, in rare occasions. And um, basically they tell you what comics to read. And all those, those episodes that each comics have counts as a like a point or check mark so basically those check marks they will um, count for it it depends how many they ask like 10 check marks I call them check marks because I feel like it's easier that way but yeah I didn't read up just just so you know I didn't read that ep episode 5 um, I don't even know if I were to tell you the summary of it. I I can't <laughs> like I don't know anything because I skimmed everything. So literally, my hand was scrolling really quickly. So, but anyway, that's the gist of it. But you know, now we're finally gonna read episode five thoroughly. So <laughs> let's get into it. If it isn't our dears Rosaline. The tea parties have been boring without you around. What the frick? Well, I must say raising a son alone must not have been easy. I don't sense good intentions from them. Obviously. Long time no see. Everyone, this is Mino. Hello, my name is Mino. Yes, I shall not stop myself from admitting that little Mino is rather cute. Thank you, pretty lady. <laughs> Hello. It's a pleasant evening, isn't it, Rosaline? It is indeed, Lady Claudia. I'd like you to meet my son, Mino. <laughs> oh, yes. What an adorable little thing. You better thank the lady, Mino. She just gave you a compliment. Uh, no. Ah, but Rosaline, you're a lucky woman. I'm surprised the Caplets did not disown you because you given birth to an illegitimate. Hold on, <laughs> my nose is itchy. Surprised the Caplets did not disown you because you given birth to an Ill illegitimate child. As expected of Lady Claudia, she goes straight for the kill. <laughs> That's right. Give Rosaline what she deserves. Weak. <laughs> okay. Sorry, those comebacks. <laughs> Blitz are known for their kindness. I know exactly where this is going. It is already, it is already very clear whose side those, uh, the other two are going to take. So, will you not tell us who the child's father is? Why do you want to know? <laughs> it's been controversy among the nobility for years. Surely you won't be afraid to tell us, so long he's not a man of suspicious origin. You got a problem with that? Dearest Rosaline, don't tell us you slept with a man you did not know. Yes, okay. 
I believe I'm not obligated to tell you anything. Even so, I would prefer if you ladies avoid talking about a father when my son is around. I think it's best if I were the one who tells him that particular matter when I believe he is old enough to understand. On that period and mother dot. Hmm. Nothing's changed. She is level headed as ever. Who are those kids? I did not see kids earlier. <laughs> I thought he was the only child. Oh. You little puss. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Do you know how hard it was to obtain this piece of imported fabric? Who dares let a cretin like you run loose? Come with me, boy. You shall pay for this. You don't touch my son? Uh -uh. I am his mother. You should be holding me accountable, not the child. Mm -hmm. Your child ruined my clothes, Lady Capulet. What have you to say for this? Um, use Downey? <laughs> I deeply apologize. Please, do not blame my own son for my own carelessness. I will pay for the damages. Don't you try to switch the subject. Your son must learn the ways of our society, how to behave and act around people of high status. Pardon me, my lord. But he is still a child. Yes, but a bastard, no doubt. That makes it reasonable for him to receive a harsher punishment. He'll never forget. He must know never mess with those above him. No, I have to compose myself. But I can't just let him stomp on me now. Flexi. <laughs> Might I ask Lord Serenoli? <laughs> Sir Nolly, to please refrain from such undignified behavior on the night of the prince's birthday. My lord, there is no reason to react like this. Can you do something as simple as having the palace servants assist you in getting change? You- That's enough, Lord Sir Nolly. You're taking away the fun of the evening. I feel like I read that a little weird. <laughs> Sorry. Indeed, I think Lord Serenogli had gone over the top just now. A child is still a child, after all. But still, do you not think the Count is helping the child only because he sympath sympathizes with him? You know? Because he's... <laughs> Sucks to be you, man! And, you know, man, everybody's harsh with with the kids. You know, you can't get a break. What's with the heavy silence? Surely such a minor fuss won't disturb our revelry. Please accept my gratitude, my lords. I should have been able to handle this myself. Get about it, Mama. It seems the little one is in stake of shock. I'll t <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I don't know who, who's who because sometimes I don't know who's talking. So. I appreciate the offer, my, lo my lord. I said my lord. But I prefer to bring my son home so he can take a proper break from all these people. I have no choice but to take him home. Let's go home and clean you up, Mina. Finally, good riddance. If anything, at least the girl was a source of entertainment. <laughs> what an interesting young caplet. If you want to preserve, preserve, preserve your hard-won reputation, I suggest not getting involved with her. What do you say to that, Count Paris? Marry me! I told you so. You should have listened to us. Listening, I'm not listening. Mama, Mino is sorry. 
You know, ruin everything. Oh no. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh my, Mino. You did nothing wrong. I will always protect you. So I have to be strong. No. I have to be stronger. After the commotion I've caused, I'm sure I've got some eyes on me. Schemes, interests, or possible fit offers. I thought of fairs first. Whatever they may be, I shall be ready for it. Mino is strong too. I didn't cry in front of everyone, Mama. But you must know, my dear Mino, that it's never shameful to cry. You cannot keep all your pains bottled up within yourself and not let it out. Because in the long run, it will explode into something bad. My nose is itchy again. I'm so How about I tell you a bedtime story? Yay, Mina loves stories. Then I'll tell you... Again, I've I, I literally don't. <laughs> I'll stop it. About Queen Mab. Queen Mab? She is the elegant queen of the fairies. And she is as tiny as can be. Even smaller than my pinky. She rides a chariot made out of an empty hazelnut shell with spider legs for wheels and pulled by a small gray coated gnat. And as we slumber, she dances over people's noses. Not my nose! But she dances for a reason, you see. Because her dance brings you the dreams that you most desire. Like what? Whatever you want. Pleasant dreams about candy or butterflies. And a papa? We know dreams about having papa. I was trying to tell a story! It's time to go to sleep now. Mina will dream about Papa with Mama. Mm, I wonder who. I'm sorry, little one. I don't know if I can make your dreams come true. I wish I wasn't alone in this journey. I'm not ready to trust someone. And I don't know if I will ever be. But I promise I will make things right. The heck is you? Oh, <laughs> I didn't recognize him. I want to go home. That line piece of. Anyway, it looks like the next episode is gonna be about um them two, you know. But, um, yeah, I feel bad for me now, you know, like, it was, it was those people fault, like, you know, <laughs> they just hate on the kid, you know, because she's a mother, like a solo mother, but like, you know, what's wrong with that? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this, um. This episode was definitely a little bit longer, or I felt it like it was a little longer, probably because my reading was kind of <laughs> slow. So, like, again, from where I stand, I, I barely woke up, so, and I just started recording immediately because I wanted to read the next episode really bad, so, um, but I'm glad I did, and I can't wait for the next two, so. Apparently they won't unlock until two weeks from now. So, um, I might read another <gasps> comic. Who knows? Might be a surprise one. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoy this and make sure you sub like, subscribe, and share. And, um, I'll see you guys next time.